Hi, you're here with me today uh, with Global City Unity, and we're out here today at the Hands of Hope Ministry. Uh, they're going to be giving food away today to uh, various church organizations and not-for-profits. Uh, this organization is a really a beautiful organization that I think everybody should be aware of. Uh, we have uh, Brother Woody out here that uh, helps minister uh, to, for this food drive. And we have uh, Sister Linda. She also helps minister for the food drive as well. Uh, they have on in their uh, agenda free food for Jesus. So they constantly bless thousands, uh, even millions one day. Uh, they feed people in Africa. They feed people when there's uh, hunger drives in our, uh, our United States. And uh, they're just uh, good people in general. Uh, we had a big event out in Morrison. You'll be able to see some of the pictures on our, uh, the website, and you'll be able to see uh, some of the events that we'll be following them with as they uh, give food away to thousands uh, with the Free Food for Jesus program. We just hope and pray uh, that uh, God blesses Woody and Linda and their whole entire organization. Uh, Global City Unity will be back with you in a few minutes as uh, they continue with this food drive as they feed millions in our United States right here at home. Uh, thank God uh, that there's people like this in the world, and we just hope and pray that uh, we can get people like uh, Woody, Linda, and her whole entire staff to follow um, uh, Global City Unity on our website and everything and uh, also participate in some of our um, some of our organizations uh, drive to help uh, feed people and uh, spread peace love and unity throughout our american neighborhoods uh, that's the latino neighborhood the african neighborhood and the caucasian neighborhoods of america we just thank you for watching uh, global city unity and we'll be back with you in just a moment You're here with Global City Unity as we're here in the Hands of Hope Ministry. Uh, they're going to be giving away food to thousands of not-for-profit churches and other individuals, and they're just feeding the world. They're feeding the nation. This is a great thing that God could bless uh, Brother Woody and Linda and Susan to be able to feed millions. Uh, today they'll be doing a food drive, and also we'll be following them when they go to Madsen and uh, Morris, Illinois. We'll be showing pictures on our websites uh, because we think this is a fantastic thing that we have right here in our United States, people that are out feeding the less fortunate. So we have the Hands of Hope Ministry. You can uh, look them at, up at handsofhopeforyou.org and uh, just call, give them a call and then um, see if they can help you with your not-for-profit or your organization. They're a not-for-profit 501c3 entity and uh, they're just, it's just a great thing that they're here helping support our community. Thank you, we're signing off, uh, we'll be back to see them as they give away food to thousands in their food drive. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. Hello, my name is uh, Evangelist Aura Holloway. I'm with Ignite the Fire Prayer Center. We are located at 824 West Jefferson Street in Jollett, Illinois. Uh, we have our prayer on Thursday night at 7 o'clock, and our worship service begin at 10.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. We are also a part of Hands of Hope Food, and we are the prayer team, one of the prayer, some of the prayer team that represent the Hands of Hope, and we come here every Wednesday and Friday uh, to have prayer for those that are in need that may come into the prayer into the hand of hope to uh, purchase their, their item and maybe going through personal problem and situation and maybe want God to intervene in, on their behalf. So the press and a at the Hands of Hope is open up for that purpose as well. And uh, we are a team of that comes from different churches. We have uh, uh, Evelyn Nelly. She, she will uh, give her um, information shortly. Hallelujah. And we just thank God for this opportunity just to come before you and let you know that we are in need of more intercessors because we want intercessors to be going for at least uh, five, six days a week at the hands of hope and we just ask you all just to come out and continue to lift us up even as a prayer team and i thank you at this point i will pass it on to evangelist this temple amen 
Amen. We do thank God for just being able to come out and be a part of this here, to be able to touch someone else, you know, beside the one that's right in our community. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to step out of your comfortable zone and be a blessing. So we thank God for the doors are open here to come out because sometimes they're coming, some different one, the volunteers, they come in, they comes in and, and they ask for prayer. They going through different things and different situations. So we are here to let them know that, that they do have hope and their hope is in God. So we take the time out and we pray for the one who do come in. So we thank God just for being a part of this. Uh, I'm Evangelist Temple and, and my church is Love and Faith Christian Fellowship Church. And we are located on, on uh, uh, 901 Richmond and Perry. We thank God. The, the Lord is just moving. Hallelujah. And we just get out of the ocean. We just getting with the move of God. Glory to God, because we realize and we recognize that the day and time that we are living. And when he said go out in the highway, in the byway, we just want to be by our father business. So here we are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are here. While they come to get the natural food, we want to feed them the spiritual food. So that is our purpose of being here. Amen. I'm, this is Evangelist Nellie Jenkins. I represent Prayer Tower Ministries. Amen. And I thank God for the open door. Amen. That we can be here for somebody else. We're intercessors. Amen. We're interceding for someone else, someone that may be hungry or, 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 or despondent. Amen. We're here to help them, to pray them through. Amen. And we thank God for this intercessory, uh, this opportunity to come out and minister to the people. We thank God. We see people coming in every time we're here on Wednesdays and Fridays between 12 and 1 o'clock and some of them come in and we could offer prayer to them give them some hope amen so we thank God for his blessings pray for us Out there with Global City Unity and Hands of Hope. Hi, you're here with Esperanza Vasquez with Global City Unity, and today we have a lot of inspirational people for our interviews for tonight. And we're going to speak to a young lady that heard by the name of Linda that she's working with an, a non for profit organization, and we're going to talk to her right now. She's our first guest, and she's going to tell us all about what she's doing and how she found the non for profit organization called Hope. 
Can you tell us, hi Linda, how are you doing today? Wonderful, thank you so much for having me. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, just thank you. Tell us, tell us something about your non-for-profit organization and how did it start and what inspired you to get into this non-for-profit organization? Well, the um, organization is a, it's a hunger and disaster relief organization. It's non-profit, 501c3, mm -hmm. and the name is Hands of Hope of Illinois, mm -hmm. and we're located in Joliet. And how it all got started was actually by um, a, a young man who owned a small trucking company in the city of Joliet. And God had put on his heart to use this trucking company to help network and find food, medical supplies, household supplies uh, for the less fortunate. So he's been doing that since uh, 1999. And, um, what it has just grown so much to where um, he's now working out, doing this ministry out of a warehouse and we're receiving so many donations of food household supplies medical supplies building supplies and he has been providing food for the less fortunate not just here in the united states mm -hmm. but also abroad as well 90 percent of what he gives away is here in the u.s and then 10% abroad in other countries. And you know, it's, that is a beautiful thing to do because you know, everybody thinks, okay, um, there's a lot of people out there that mm -hmm. are suffering and in disaster, but you know, in reality, we have hit a lot of people here mm -hmm. in our United States have also, you know, have hit no jobs or nothing like that. A lot of people don't speak about it, but then here there's this a non-for-profit organization called HOPE and it gives them hope to go and get things that they need. Exactly. Am I correct? Yes, we do uh, several community outreaches um, mm -hmm. locally and throughout the United States. Uh, last October, we were in here on South Dakota. We were there with two semi-trucks loaded with food and water mm -hmm. for the, the families there that were hurting uh, due to unemployment. Uh, we just had one recently um, in January, we had one in Joliet. Over 800 cars came through, and it's a drive-through food giveaway where they will pop open their trunk. Our volunteers fill the trunk up with food and water. We're also there for their spiritual needs as well. We believe in feeding their souls too. So we're there to encourage them uh, with God's word. We pray with them, and we also give away Bibles too. That is very nice. And so there's, this is very, very nice that they're doing this because so how do they get all the food so then people just donate or is mm. this something that has been donated by like different like stores or mm -hmm. companies that come through because this is how much it's been heard around. So that he and he started at all this and now he's got more help or is it just yes. a certain amount of people that have been helping out in this? He has a lot of relationships uh, from the trucking industry and uh -huh. um, so once distributors and wholesalers started learning about what he was doing, uh -huh. they wanted to partner with them. So several uh, wholesalers and distributors are donating food and supplies to Hands of Hope of Illinois. And then in turn, we send it out to wherever there's a need. Mm -hmm. um, we were in Haiti after the earthquake. Right. Uh, we, were, uh, we helped out on the East Coast after Hurricane Sandy. We sent food. Mm -hmm. water and bleach out for that. We're feeding 100 children a day in Mexico right now. Right. Um, and we're just feeding, we're feeding America. We're trying to help be a part of ending hunger. Last year mm -hmm. and the year before, we gave away over 40 million pounds of food. Wow. So, and all thanks to God. It's all God providing. That is very beautiful. And how do you, you approach, you know, the people is it that they've been coming to because they're hungry and the next thing you find, they find God. Is that correct? We you hope start? so. That Yeah, that is the intent. Um, our, you know, the, the verse that this got started off of with um, Woody Stiltner Jr., who is mm -hmm. the owner of the trucking company and the president and the founder of Hands of Hope of Illinois, is Matthew 6.33. Mm -hmm. And that verse is so close to his heart. And, um, you know, God says, anything that you do to the least of these, you've done unto me. So we do mm -hmm. everything in his name. We are a Christian organization. Um, we're not just feeding 
um, their stomachs, but we want to feed their souls as well. Right. And there are so many people out there right now that don't have hope. Exactly. So when we let them know, you know, God is faithful and, and we are able to bless families with so much food, mm -hmm. they know it's from Him. That is very sweet. Um, tell us a little bit more about yourself because, you know, you said you got involved and you had a, um, we need to hear this because this is something very, very interesting about Linda. She says she started off with a, you had an, a very good job and everything, but now mm. you're happy doing what you're doing because it's something that's feeding your soul and is making you more happier what you're doing now. Oh, absolutely. Um, as I was sharing earlier, um, I'm making the least amount of money I've ever made in my life, but mm -hmm. I am the happiest I've ever been. And it's really a dream come true. It's, it's answered prayer, working full time in ministry. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I've worked, you know, I've climbed the corporate ladder, you know, I've had some right. great paying corporate jobs. but there was always something missing. It's like, you know, and mm -hmm. I was always grateful for the, the work, of course, because it provided, but I just felt like I was created for something more, something bigger. And Mother Teresa has always been a huge inspiration to me, how she just left everything and just went to Calcutta, India, and, and maybe had two or three outfits to her name, but she was there among the poor, and she lived her life, you know, serving. And I, I've always been in awe of people like that. Billy Graham, who goes all over the world sharing good news, sharing the gospel. Mm -hmm. And that's something I've always dreamt about doing. And now here I am, all because I, I ended up going to a high school reunion, bumped into a, an old friend who happens to be the president and founder of Hands of Hope of Illinois, who, who also needed help. Mm -hmm. And so I started out volunteering, helping out, and now I'm, I'm there full time. Wow. That's an amazing story. Um, they like they say all the time, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you want, for one hour, if you take a nap, you find a little bit of happiness for one hour. Is that correct? Because some people need some sleep and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then they say you want happiness for about a month. <laughs> Get married. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you want happiness for like go fishing or something like that. But the best thing about you is that you found happiness helping out others. And that's very important because sometimes that's lifetime happiness. Mm -hmm. And that is very rewarding. I always say that, you know. Um, my name is Esperanza and means hope in English. And so I help out a lot too. And I find help, happiness giving my time to a lot of people also. And I find you a very an amazing woman. So when you um, connect with other people that are doing something like that. Mm -hmm. It's a nice connection. And I, I hope to find more people like you in this world, you know, and, and passing out the word of the Lord and, you know, and they're filling their souls is a very rewarding thing to do out here for a lot of us that need it. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. It is true because when I see so many people come through our doors with these long faces and they have no hope, Mm -hmm. And when you can help, you know, put a smile on somebody's face and have them leave that place feeling um, a, lot, a lot better, you know, they see the light at the, the end of the tunnel. And um, when people have hope, they have everything. They really do. And our hope is in the Lord. It really is. You, hope doesn't come from a person, a place, or a thing. Um, it's, it's all from Him. It's all from the Lord. And he's the one who fills those voids in our life. And his joy, his peace, his strength, um, nothing else compares to the blessings of the Lord. And there's a lot, you know, out there that people are, like you said, they're needing that. Um, to reach out to them is you, you reached out in many ways. Mm -hmm. And especially, like they said, when you're really going to drop bottom, you know, but what happens to the people that are, like, you know, that are doing good, it, you know, how do you hit to those people? Well, there are people out there that they're not struggling. Maybe they're, they've got a great job. Um, they've got all sorts of things and they're, they're having fun. And some of them have shared with me that they're still a void mm -hmm. and they, don't, they haven't figured out what it is yet. And we're mm -hmm. always happy to share, you know, how's your relationship with Jesus? You know, do you know him? 
Mm -hmm. So many of us might know about Jesus, but if we don't have a personal relationship with him and know him on one-one, you know, we've got to get that vertical relationship first before we can have anything else work out for us. Very good. Very good. I, I've heard people, you know, it's, it's hard to bring out sometimes the subject of that because a lot of people, you know, you don't know what kind, you know, like the religion there are and you have to respect everybody's religion. And, mm -hmm. um, and you know, I, I respect everybody's religion. The only thing about it, it's like, you know, just reaching out. And like you said, you went into, uh, was it your high school reunion? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And this is how you met a friend? Yes. And he just touched you just like that. I saw what he was doing with his life. Um, I was reading about his ministry, uh, checking out the website. And I was just so touched. And I thought, this is great that he's doing all of this. You know, that's wonderful. But mm -hmm. at the time, I was living in Florida. Wow. And where I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life. But God closed those doors. Mm -hmm. He opened a door, brought me back to sh Chicago. And here I am. And um, I've never been happier. Wow. So you moved from Florida and you brought your family over here too, is that correct? Yes. That. Yes, my family is slowly relocating back to Chicagoland as well. So were you from Chicago or were you from Florida? Um, I actually grew up here. Oh, so you grew up here. I grew up so in the Illinois. So when you came to your high school reunion, it was over here. Yes, yes. Wow, what an amazing story, you know. You lived in a different area and all of a sudden this man inspires you and it brings you to a whole different other world. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my whole life has been has changed. Um, and you know, getting up and going to work, it really isn't work. It doesn't feel like a job or exactly. like I'm going to work. It is an honor, mm -hmm. it's a pleasure. Um, I'm so enthused every morning. Okay, God, what do, what do you have planned for today? It's all him, he's mm -hmm. doing it. Uh, we're the vessels that he's doing his work through, and we are just honored and in awe that we get to be part of what he's doing. That is very nice, and it's very honorable to do something like this because it takes a lot of energy. And, um, and so every morning there's a plan for you. Yes. And uh, every morning you just, you know, it's, it's a surprise also. Yes, it is. Um, just being part of this ministry was a, a, a nice surprise. <laughs> it's literally um, answered prayer. It's a dream come true. And um, I also wanted to share too, since Hands of Hope of Illinois has been giving food away for many, mm -hmm. many years, and we still are, um, we heard about a program that exists in Florida, mm -hmm. in Sanford, Florida, uh -huh. and it's a Hope Center, and it's a community assistance program that really turns out to be a long-term self-sufficiency solution for people, whether they're working or not working, that are struggling right now. So mm -hmm. we spent um, a week there learning this program. And so we've opened up a, the first Hope Center in the state of Illinois. So mm -hmm. we, Hands of Hope of Illinois is a, it's a handout. It's a free handout. Mm -hmm. The Joliet Hope Center, it, it's a hand up. It's a program that's available to members five days a week where they don't have to wait for that once a month, twice a month handout. And right. they don't know what's going to be in that box. It may be products that they can't even use. But with the Hope Center, they can come, um, apply for a membership, and they have the independence and the freedom of picking out the food that they want and need and as much of it. And they're only making a contribution towards the cost of the product, mm -hmm. and everything is tax free. So it is also a nonprofit 501c3 program that's helping people every day. Wow. So tell us a little bit about the 501 um, that you explained. About the Joliet Hope yes. Center? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, well, the Joliet Hope Center is, again, it's, it's a nonprofit 501c3 mm -hmm. community assistance program. So it is private, and it's a it's a place where people can come and get greatly discounted groceries, household products, mm -hmm. hygiene products, beauty supplies, right. um, and, and tax-free as well. So everything's greatly discounted. It's tax-free. Mm -hmm. And they can come five days a week if they like. And we have meat, vegetables. We have fresh food, frozen food, and then right. the dry food as well. Wow. that's. That's great. It, it is. It's an amazing place. So it's almost like a grocery store for them to come and yes. just come shopping.
but less expensive for them. Oh, greatly reduced in cost. Very reduced. Yes, and the, um, the members who are on Link uh, mm -hmm. really appreciate it because so many of them have shared with me that their Link funds run out before the end of the month. Yes. Uh -huh. So now families are, are saving hundreds of dollars per month. Wow. And so if they're saving that much money per month, now they're able to get caught up on other bills. And, and really, it's making a huge difference. We have prayer counselors there. So if someone comes in mm -hmm. and they have a situation that they're going through, uh, we have a prayer and a healing room, and we pray with them, and we encourage them with God's Word. Wow. So even though we know they're coming there maybe to get a great deal on food mm -hmm. and products, um, Jesus is there at that warehouse, and God's love is there, and, and we want to feed their souls as well. That's what it's all about. It's all about Christ. Very nice. Do they also, you know, is there also like, for instance, like medical or any kind of like, or is it just food for them to come and get? Or is it like, for instance, like if they're sick or anything like that, do you help them out for that? We don't have any medical um, services there at the mm -hmm. moment, but we have just been contacted by Walgreens and they're going to come to our Hope Center in September. Mm -hmm. and offer some uh, flu shots, pneumonia shots, things like that. We are also looking at other resources that are out there to come and speak to our members and help let them know other resources that are available for them as well. Mm -hmm. We also have a Bible study there every morning from Tuesday through Friday. Right. And um, anyone is welcome, everyone is welcome, and we meet at uh, 7.30 in the morning. We start out with some praise wow. and worship, and mm -hmm. then from 8 to 9 we get into the Word. Wow, that's a lot. It, it's wonderful. But you know what? Um, the thing about it is that you don't even feel the time. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. You don't even feel the time. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Starting off really early, and, and it doesn't even feel like work, like you said. Oh, no. It, it's, it's a ministry. And mm -hmm. we have some wonderful volunteers there that help us. And a lot of our members that have been blessed by the Hope Center are mm -hmm. now our volunteers. Oh, we have nice. um, high school students up to seniors. We just mm -hmm. uh, had a celebration with one of our oldest volunteers, and his name is George. Mm -hmm. He's 92 years of age, and he's there every day helping us. It's, it's really great because mm -hmm. so many lives are being blessed on both sides of this mm -hmm. program, whether they're on staff, volunteering, or they're a member coming there uh, for food. Very nice. Tell us a little bit more about what you, you know, you, you were showing, you brought your newspaper and you brought some mm -hmm. other things here for us. Um, our Hands of Hope brochure, and um, I would love to share with everybody our website, so. That would be wonderful. Anyone can visit the website and s learn more about what we do and where we're going to be next at one of our community outreach programs. So our website is www.handsofhope4u.org, and it's the numeral for the letter U handsofhopeforyou.org. And we are located at 511 Oakleaf Court in Joliet, Illinois, 60435. And we are off the beaten path, so to speak. Um, but we have put some signs out there. But I always share with our members, uh, we're like a treasure hunt. <laughs> we are um, back in a, an industrial area. Mm -hmm. But... Um, we're, we're doing a lot right now. It's a great start because this, uh, the Joliet Hope Center is off of the prototype in, off the one in Florida that I was sharing earlier. Right. And um, it was a, a couple that started that one out of the garage of their home. Uh, exactly. So, and they're in a, a building that's three times larger than ours. And so this is spreading so worldwide, is that correct? Yes. That you're in Florida, you're in Chicago, and also you, you built something in Mexico also. And are you planning to do like, like, like overseas or anything like that besides? Um, the Lord willing, whatever God wants us to do, we're going to mm -hmm. do it. Um, we are, the Hope Center in Florida is uh, under a different organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we went there to learn how to do that program. Um, but the one that we have in Joliet is under the Hands of Hope of Illinois umbrella. Very nice. And we hope to see more Hope Centers open up, not just in Illinois, but all over the country. 
and that sounds like a great, great idea. Can you tell us a little bit more about the newspaper article that you had brought by yes. today? Yes. Yes, I'd be happy to. Um, a lot of the Joliet newspapers have been covering, mm -hmm. since we just celebrated a grand opening uh, for the Joliet Hope Center, and so the Joliet Bugle had put us on the front page, which was a nice surprise. And um, it's just showing one of the seniors that's visiting the Hope Center and getting some of the products that she needs. So um, newspapers are trying to get the word out so more and more people learn about the Joliet Hope Center, that it is available, because many families are out there and they don't even realize that the Joliet Hope Center exists. So we want everybody to know about it. That's why we're there. We're there for them. So you're only located in Joliet right now, but I mean other, in other locations. But you do, with the help of the Lord, you know, you mm -hmm. can probably bring it to Chicago also because, oh, yes. you know, it's that because some people can't communicate to Joliet. It's kind of like a distance for them. Is that correct? Exactly, yes. And so many people don't have um, transportation. Exactly. Or it might be considered a long commute from Chicago to Joliet. Although we do have families coming from Chicago, we have families coming from Indiana to visit the Hope Center. And that's a good thing. And we are literally witnessing celebrations taking place in the aisles because when people come there, you know, they don't know what to expect yet. But once they're there for 10, 10 minutes, they're excited. And we're, we're hearing them get on their phones and calling their friends, their neighbors their families and saying, you've got to come here. Mm -hmm. It is literally making a huge difference. Um, churches, we're a blessing to churches as well. Twice a month we give free food to churches. They can come to Hands of Hope of Illinois on the first and third Friday of the month between one and three and we have a variety of food items set out for them that they can take back to use in their food pantries or if they just want to uh, bless other families that they know in their you know, congregation that are struggling. Um, churches can also utilize the Hope Center uh, f for their benevolence ministry. Um, let's just say they have a family that's hurting. We also have vouchers available that churches, organizations, corporations can purchase to help bless a family. And the vouchers are just like money and they never expire. So, but families are filling their carts for $20. And you just can't do that anywhere else these days. Well, you're doing a beautiful thing, and thank God that we found you. Thank you. And uh, we're going to wrap it up with Linda for today, for tonight. Actually, Linda, do you have anything else to tell us but really quickly? Because we're going to wrap it up and go on to our next guest. But if anybody has any questions, if you'd like to learn more about what we're doing out there in Joliet, please call 630-886. 1553 and we'd be happy to uh, share more information with you. Very nice. We're here with Esperanza Vasquez with Global City Unity with Linda today. We'll be right back. Hi, we're here with Esperanza Vasquez and we got Peril in the house. Sure. <laughs> Peril, tell us a little bit about you and what you're, where you've been up to. Oh, for the past two months, uh, I've been in college, you know what I'm saying, managing my business, Dope Boys Entertainment, and signing recording artists to my record label and promoting their projects and their mixtapes and albums. And we understand your father's actually helping you out on this, or you're doing it by yourself? Uh, he's been helping me with the 501c3 that he had with Morale Builders Inc. But I've been solo, doing my own thing, signing artists and trying to tour and stuff like that for the fall come in. Well, we wish you much luck. And we know you're doing very good because you came to perform for us already. Sure. And uh, you have a fan also. Yeah, a fan came in, you know what I'm saying? She chilled with me. You know, we rock. She says she's going to get back up with me, so, you know. Very good, Paro. You go ahead and do your thing. Thank you. All right, good luck. Sure, sure. Shia, Dope Boys E and T, Channel 19, Shia. Shia, Shia, Shia. Shia, Shia, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got that astronaut swag in my car, sitting on foes, pimping in the shot, swagging with some good money. 
Rose, Prince Barrow, smoking dro, and you know my pocket swole, count stacks, getting famous thanks to the studio. I got that astronaut swag in my car, sitting on folks, pimping in the shot, swagging with some getting money pros, Prince Barrow, smoking dro, and you know my pocket swole, count stacks, getting famous thanks to the studio. Rocking snow, flaky diamonds, matching ice out, I swag cost so much money, shouties sting like cocaine. Yeah, I'm dressed in black like Batman. Disrespect and I split your brain. My kicks hot like Lou Kane's Monopoly. Call me Shaggy, bro. Go where my dogs at. Scooby Doo swag in a van, smoking threat. Keep some bands up in my pants. Now your chick understand. Yeah, I ball cause I can. See, I got the master plan. Back in the days, I stayed on my grind. Hustling, bustling, struggling, shine. I see girls, it's time to unwind. Cock and loaded, I stay with my iron. My Anna got me dressed in all red. I got that astronaut swag. Yeah, my car sitting on foes, pimping in the shack. Swagging with some getting money pros. Prince Perot smoking dro. And you know my pocket swole. Count stacks, getting famous thanks to the studio. I got that astronaut swag. Yeah, my Sit on foes, pimping in the shot, swagging with some getting money pros, Prince Perot, smoking dro, and you know my pocket swole, count stacks, getting famous thanks. Shout out to Honey B, see ya. But they call her Honey B, bam. With the boss. And we rep the shot sound, shot sound. Shia, cause I'm married to the guap Shia, 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 Shia Let's get it honey Shia, Shia, Shia And how your baby daddy bless the team Cause I'm a boss Shia, the boys can see I got that astronaut swag And my car sitting on foes, pimping in the shot Swagging with some getting money Prince Perot smoking dro And you know my pocket swole, count stacks Yeah, my car sitting on foes, pimping in the shot Swagging with some getting money pros Prince Perot smoking dro And you know my pocket swole, count stacks Getting famous thanks to the studio Go! Shout out to Shine 19, let's get it shit. You can hit me up on Facebook at Perro Smith. And you hit me up on YouTube at Perro Doughboys and T. Shia. Early on today on the west side, a young kid was shot and killed while on her way from a party. This is the 12th child to be killed this year from Red Lady's I'm sorry to disturb you, though I didn't mean to do it Why you pulling that gun and not watch where you shooting it? You thought it was cool, the way you was swinging and banging You thought it was very amazing, but now when that kid jumped in front of it Ain't no bragging about this when your stomach's sick, what you done? It's on every new station, know how you gun down that young one See mom's crying for a son, she can't believe I was gone She said she'd give her own life if it just bring back her son Just because you wanted to act like you in the Wild West Ain't no more calling this, we civilized If you want to be a barbarian, they go that right there are you really shooting the kids? Cause over there you be too scared Like that little girl Watching the Saturday cartoons Then in through a window Came a bullet from you It hit her in the chest She didn't have time to cry But her family cried a funeral Cause they wish she was still alive That's why When I die When I die When I die I hope I'm not seven years old When I die Please, when I die, when I die, I hope I'm not 12 years old. Learn how to shoot, man, in a positive environment. You could be the police, security guard, army man. That's better than being a know nothing. Shooting and killing innocent children. Unlike you, we have a future. We don't die by your hands. So many blood stained hands. All kind of angle with street. Another shot, another death. Up on the cops beat. Another heart stops his beat. Another more get a new entry. Sharif the right, Stucky the re, who both died within a week. See, it's a common thing that happens frequently. Another wake, another funeral. Cause a child dies senselessly. At any moment, it could be me. I could just walk it down. Down the street and the bullet will hit me, it won't nick me, it'll put an end to me so, so clearly. clearly. When, when I, I die, die, when I die, when I die, I hope I'm not seven years old. When I die, 
release when I die. When I die. I hope I'm not 12 years old. What do you gotta say? What do you gotta say? What do you gotta say for yourself? What do you gotta say? What do you gotta say? What do you gotta say for yourself? What do you gotta say for yourself? Holla at me, why there's so much vice in the world? It's truly a tragedy. How could you go to bed knowing that that young life you took will not be gone? If you tell me you don't know, I can tell you what I see. I can see that little child you shot being low at six feet deep. If you have a conscience, then I know you playing that scene over and over in your mind in real time constantly. You can stop the madness and the pain and break your nerves so free your soul by turning yourself in. So justice may be served, become a counselor. When you get at that cage, stop the death of a child that wants to reach your age that way. When I die, when I die, when I die, I hope I'm not seven years old. When I die, please, when I die, when I die, I hope I'm not 12 years old. When I die, when I die, when I die, I hope I'm not 7 years old. When I die, please, when I die. And we're here with Esperanza Vasquez, and we're going to wrap it up with JP in the house. So what are you going to do tonight, JP? I'm singing a Luke Bryant song. Is this your first time performing for us? Uh, I've been here before in the studio, uh, it's a prestigious studio, but the show, no, never before. Well, we're looking forward to, to your performance. I'm looking forward to showing you guys. Good luck. Here you go. Thank you. Play that track. Turn that track up. Oh. Yeah. 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 Uh. You got your hands up. You rocking in my truck. You've got the radio on and you singing every song on cruise control. Slowly losing hold of everything. I've got you looking so dang hot. Uh. I don't know what road we're on or where we've been But from staring at you, girl, all I know is I don't want this night to end To win and to end, yeah Staring at you, girl, all I know is That I don't want this night to end in, in, in. Staring at you, girl All I know is Girl, I know I don't know you But your pretty little eyes so true Keep pulling me in Like moon on your skin And I'm so glad you trusted me To get up in this dusty seat And put your head down And get out of town Got the stars coming out over my hood And all I know is it's all good I got the stars coming out over my hood And all I know is it's all You got your hands up, you rocking in my truck You've got the radio on and you singing every song On cruise control, slowly losing hold of everything I've got you looking so dang hot I don't know what road we're on or where we've been But from staring at you, girl, all I know is I don't want this night to end, to end, to end, yeah But from staring at you, girl, all I know is I don't want this night to end uh. In, in, staring at you, girl. All I know is I'm gonna hate the morning when it comes because rising sun ain't no good for me. I know you'll have to leave. 
So I gotta make the most of every mile And I'd do anything to make you smile Land upon my lips and get drunk off your kiss It's 3.35 but the night is still alive. Thanks. Or worse, and 
Hey, baby, can I holler? Hey, baby, can I holler? 